In this video, I've analyzed every top 10 hit from 2010 to 2021 to figure out which genre dominated each year. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Hey, what up, girl? This year was dominated by dance slash electro pop with artists like Kesha, Katy Perry, and Lady Gaga topping the charts. Even R&B artists like Usher were making songs in this sound. This resulted in the genre, accounting for 50% of the songs that entered the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100. Pop rap was the second biggest genre of the year, with artists like B.O.B., Eminem and Travi McCoy dropping lasting hits. Producers like Dr. Luke, Max Martin, and David Guetta produced the vast majority of the hit songs and dictated the sound for 2010. Dance pop continued as the top genre in 2011 when Britney Spears, Lady Gaga, and Katy Perry had amazing years of dropping multiple hits. It was the top genre, with 36.5% of the songs that entered the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100. This was also the year of party rock anthem ruling the charts. Pop rap was a close second, with Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj and Lupe Fiasco dropping huge hits. The top producers of the year were Stargate, Max Martin and Dr. Luke. In 2012, Pop took over the charts, occupying 34.5% of the top 10, with Bruno Mars, Adele, and Carly Rae Jepsen topping the charts throughout the year. So Electro Pop declined a bit from the previous years, with 27.5% of the top 10 songs. EDM also emerged as the big sound of the year, with David Guetta, Chris Brown, and Flo Rida all dropping dance hits. Also, the subgenre dubstep became popular. The top producers of the year were Shellback, Dr. Luke, and Calvin Harris. I'm gonna pop some tags, only got twenty dollars in my pocket. Pop was technically the genre with the most top ten songs of the year, with Katy Perry and Miley Cyrus dropping huge hits. I came in like a wrecking ball. There was also the rise of the disco sound, with songs like Get Lucky and Treasure. Pop rap had a presence on the charts, with Macklemore and Drake dropping the biggest songs of the year. From the bottom, now we're here. Ryan Lewis and Jeff Basker were among the biggest producers of the year. R&B slash soul was the leading genre in 2014, accounting for 29.4% of the songs that entered the top 10, with Sam Smith, Beyonce and Pharrell dropping the biggest hits of the year. Dance Pop was a close second, with Taylor Swift dropping bangers. Shake it off, shake it off. Rap also had a presence in the top 10, with the emergence of Iggy Azalea. I'm so fancy, you already know. DJ Mustard, Max Martin and Circuit were among the biggest producers of the year. Don't believe me, just watch. Pop music ruled the charts, with 29.7% of the top 10. Funk inspired songs like Uptown Funk and Sugar, disco inspired songs like Can't Feel My Face, and pop fused with the tropical sound with songs like Hotline Bling, What Do You Mean, and Cheerleader were among the top songs of the year. R&B Soul was a close second with songs like Thinking Out Loud, The Hills, and Earned It. I'm a kid for you, you. Hip hop was represented well on the charts with the emergence of Fetty Wap. Pop was the top genre of the year with 29.4% of the top 10 songs. The year was dominated by dance hall infused pop songs with songs like Sorry, Work, One Dance, and Cheap Thrills. R&B was second, with Beyonce and Rihanna dropping monumental albums. Okay, 
hip hop was represented by songs like Panda and Black Beatles. That girl is a real crowd please. EDM had a presence with songs from the Chainsmokers, Calvin Harris, DJ Snake, and Major Lazer. Hip hop ruled the year, accounting for 31.3% of the songs that hit the top 10, with Kendrick Lamar and Migos dropping huge hits. Pop and R&B Soul had a substantial amount of hits in the year, with Bruno and The Weeknd ruling the year. EDM was also represented with hit songs from the Chainsmokers and Zed. Metro Boomin and the Chainsmokers produced some of the top hits of the year. God's plan. God's plan. Hip hop totally dominated 2018, accounting for an astounding 71.9% of the top 10 songs in the year. I've been fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. Even the hits from the other genres were highly influenced by hip hop. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, just. R&B was still a factor on the charts, with songs like Finesse and Boot Up. Pop was also represented on the charts, with Ariana dropping a couple of hits. Hip hop continued as the top genre, accounting for 40.4% of the top 10 hits, with Old Town Road ruling the charts with 19 weeks on number one. Pop made a comeback in 2019 with legends like Taylor Swift and Ariana Grande and new artists like Ava Max releasing major hits. R&B had a presence on the charts with 17% of the top 10. Hip hop was the top genre, accounting for 50.7% of the songs that entered the top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. Pop was the second top genre of 2020, with the 80s sound getting popular, with songs like Don't Start Now and Blinding Lights. Folk and K pop made minimal presence in the top 10, with BTS and Taylor Swift releasing big records. Hip hop was leading the way, accounting for 42.6 percent of the top 10 hits. What you know about us? I got what you need. Pop punk made a return to the charts since the mid 2000s with songs like "Good for You." R&B soul also made a comeback with hits from Silk Sonic and SZA. 